Hello guys, Torres here and today we're flying on the blue flag Persian Gulf modern um, server. I am really, I, I just love this server so much, it's amazing and I am currently flying the Jeff 17. Uh, I am very new to it and this sortie right here is, is probably my most successful sortie. I, I am really enjoying every single aspect of the Jeff 17. At the beginning I was a little bit afraid of afraid about it because of all this is this is just a little bit overwhelming but um but now that i you know get to know the plane a little bit better i can say that i'm just falling in love with it more and more and more it's a fantastic aircraft and i hope you guys will enjoy it i'm gonna try to leave the uh, the uh, video as uh, raw as possible and then by the end of the video there is a tech view where we can talk about more about what, 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 what i was doing what i was thinking and so on in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave you guys with uh, with the raw, raw footage and the raw uh, communications of what's going on uh, in this audio. Anyway, hope you guys will enjoy this and yeah. Affirmative, I got him. He's notching me. Fox 3 and uh, Hornet at uh, 33,000. Thank you. 
Box 3 on the one at 40,000. Missile is pitbull. Copy that. Box stream and defending. Copy that. Climbing, I was defending a uh, a phoenix. I'm down to one more uh, fox tree and that's it. Got him plugged. Uh, lo tengo. Is a ten ten thousand. Uh, ten thousand uh, thirty three miles. Is that 20,000 feet? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, you're right. Box 3. Pranking left. 10 seconds. Missile Pitbull, Missile Pitbull. Not defending. Defending. He's defending right now. Missile Trust, not friendly. Viper, so 
Okinawa Water Coast. Is he chasing me? Yes, uh, the friendly viper is. Uh, Copy, recommitting for Fox 2s. Copy, 180 for 12. Is the viper in, uh, fighting or no? Yes, yes, they are fighting. Okay, the enemy is dead. Uh, Copy that. Enemy splash, right? Yeah, 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 the enemy is dead. Uh... Yeah, yeah, copy that, thank you. I'm out to be. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm, I was very curious about the the guy at 40,000 feet actually over here, the F-18. I was very curious about whether he launched on me or not. I mean, I know he launched on me, but... Um, but uh, I, I don't know. It's just like we were really close to each other. I thought I was going to ha have to defend a little bit harder. But maybe it's just that the 120s are definitely trash at the moment. I don't know. But that's uh, something I wanted to see. I also wanted to see the first launch I did against the first target on the left side. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So here we are fly flying at almost 40,000 feet. Uh, the uh, F-18 noticed that we were going after him. So he notched us. And instead of you know trying to to uh, stay focused on him, I turned around and started looking at this guy uh, on the on the top left here, and I actually fired. That's a uh, that's a 40, 40 miles sh launched. She's pretty crazy. So let's take a look at how that SD10 actually performed against that target because I thought uh, at least it will go pitbull because I thought it actually did pit did go pitbull. But right here, you can see how it's tracking. And right here, it just loses it, and uh, and it just goes, it trashes, basically, it just useless. I think maybe I broke lock before it went, people, I, I need to go back in the bot and, and watch exactly if I did hold it or not, but uh, anyway. Anyway, uh, once we launched that guy, um, obviously we put our nose more to the left in this path here, when we start flying towards the left side. And that created an opening for the F-18 to engage that us um, because it starts turning back hot. And, um, and this is the part where I'm very curious because I noticed that and also the JTAG noticed that and tells me uh, he's recommitting, right? So I turn around and I do a quick little shot right there. But uh, before I shot, I made sure to throw my nose up so the uh, missile will loft, right? And uh, and that's exactly what I do here, and I fire. And the moment I fire, that would that's gonna be twenty nine miles shot. He's at forty thousand feet, while I'm at thirty four uh, uh, at thirty four thousand feet, right? So I launch, and you can see just at that beautiful loft of the SD ten is it's just amazing, right? It does that nice volley, and then he decides to shot. Like actually, he shoots very late. Um, could that be because um because of um. The, the F-18 radar is currently like not performing how it used to perform. Like, I'm not sure because you can see I fire at this point right there. That's my launch. Let's uh, put it right there. That's my launch. Let's play there. Let's play it real quick. I launched. Am I going at full speed? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It takes a full... So I launched at uh, at uh, fifty five seconds, right? Uh, fifty five seconds here. On the, sorry, I'm I'm looking at the watch, right, on the top left. 
So you can see I'm, I'm I launched at 73255 and he launches 10 seconds later almost 10 seconds later and what is more interesting right now that I'm noticing is that his missile did his missile loft or it, it didn't it looks like you just went straight and I don't think that he actually knows up he didn't know so at all, and he just launched the missile straight. So that uh, I just don't. I haven't flown the F-18 a lot, and I'm not sure. Uh, please leave me, you know, leave a comment on the section below. But I, I, I understand that the F-18 actually lost the missiles as well, right? You just gotta throw your nose up because launching it like this is just very bad because the the missile loses a lot of energy, and it's better to loft them. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, no, no wonder I didn't even feel it. I just, you know, when uh, cold a little bit and the missile just energy just went bad like immediately. That's uh, that's very interesting. On the other hand, I launched launched at him, and he continued coming hot for quite a while, and uh, and he starts defending while the missile was that that moment like. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm new to this. But um, that would be 8 miles from him. And it's coming, because he was lofted, it's coming from above. It's coming with a lot of, en with a lot of energy. And it's just, there's no way you're going you're, you're gonna to defeat that at this point. Uh, that's crazy. It, it hits him at Mach 2.5. Sorry, Mach 2.4. While he's uh, defending at Mach 1. Yeah, no. That's that's very interesting. I wanted to 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 keep an eye on that. And then, I uh, so my teammate dies. I come over here and I fire at the F eighteen. I thought it was a Tomcat. I don't know why I thought it was a Tomcat. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I fired at him because I saw him recommitting, and I immediately went defend defensive before even you know getting shot at because I. I am, I assume that he was turning back to to launch at me quickly, but uh, that was a very launch, very close, you know, launch, and uh, it's a twelve mile launch from thirty miles, and the missile just went back, you know, back down. And even like in that situation, I decided to loft the missile. You can see that how it just goes up and down. Beautiful SC ten is just fantastic, and yeah, there's no way he escapes. Then I start climbing back up and launch on this guy, and we actually missed uh, because I didn't got the kill. Uh, so I wanted to take a look at that again. Another loft launch right here with the SD10. Very nice. You see how it just goes back down, reaches Mac Mac, you know, four, and it's coming down at uh, Mac three. He actually launched at us twice, and again, not a single loft. I don't know if. Uh, if if I'm just going insane, is the one twenty can the one twenty C don't can can it not loft? I am very curious about it. Um, see here, very 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 curious about it. Um, it just launches, but it, does he have a, his nose up or not? No, he doesn't. He just launches straight, and he's launching at nineteen thousand feet to a target that is at thirty two thousand feet, and he launches straight. And uh, well, the the missile has to pull up right because I'm up. But that, that maneuver right there of having to pull up like that is it's just, it, it kills the energy. So if you nose up, maybe that would help. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking nonsense. Somebody knows better than me. And I bet you guys do. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why. But uh, And then he, here he comes. The missile's coming down to Mach 2. This guy's defending pretty pretty nice. Well, and oh my god, it, that that came in very close. That came in very, very close. Whoa! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a hundred feet away. All right. Well done, Suave one one. Well done. That was a great defense. That's that, that was great. And now on the other hand, over here, the enemies one twenties. Yeah, not not even close. Not even close. But again, I'm not sure is is the loft a factor. I'm I'm so you know talking about all this loft and thing, but you guys, my my, you guys know better. And then we just, you know, run away, and he, then he got killed by the one twenty from that F sixteen. But and then that's it. That's fun. That's a fun story. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
I'm enjoying the Jeff 17 a lot. It's uh it's a different kind of aircraft. Uh the fact that you only get four Fox 3s uh makes it makes it the playstyle to be more passive than aggressive makes me want to play very secure on uh, you know like be certain of my Fox 3s and anyway, I'm really enjoying it. That was my fourth story with it and I'm very proud about it. Uh it's the is the third time I take it out on blue flag. And I've been flying it a lot on Grand Line Winder training, trying to familiarize with it. But uh, that's the first really, uh, I could say, the first successful sortie I do on Blue Flag. That was fantastic. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Toto Torres signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.